Hi everyone, this is Gabriel from St. Cloud Nursery. Just wanted to pop in and let you guys know that I'm well and safe and so is my family. I am in California. We have been um, shelter in place for about a week. Kids have been out of school for a while. I think we're doing okay. You know, we when we go through these ups and downs with the grocery thing and the store thing, worried that maybe the stores are gonna close down and whatever we have is all we're gonna have. But I think that that's not the case. It looks like those stores are staying open. And um, I wanna say thank you to the people who are working in them. My daughter, my oldest daughter being one of them. We have to keep the stores open so people have to work. And I know that a lot of people have lost their jobs for the time being or are out of work and, and worrying. And my daughter's grateful that she still has a job, but it is hard for her to go into work knowing that she might get sick and bring that home to our family. So far that hasn't happened. The store where she works is not allowing them to wear gloves and masks because they're limiting the amount of people who come into the store. She said for the most part, um, people are staying you know, a distance from each other and that's really nice. But once they get to the register, they are close. She doesn't work on a register. She works in the art department. But for a while there last week, it was all hands on deck. So she had to do every job. Stocking shelves, working register, helping people. Whatever it is they needed when things started to go crazy, she had to provide that. Now she's back in her office, but she really you know, has strong feelings about the health and safety of people who are still working in the grocery industry. So if you're still able to go out to the grocery store where you're at, just be super nice to the people who are showing up and, and working and taking a risk. That goes for our emergency workers, our healthcare workers, the people who pick up our garbage, mail delivery, people in banks. Um, I could go on and on, but there are people who you know, are still risking their health and safety so that we can have our basic needs met still during this time. I am not gonna go on and on and on about that. I think we're all oversaturated with all of that information and um, it's scary. We're doing fine. I'm not getting a lot of time in my studio because my youngest is home from school. Well, you know, he has needs. He needs to be entertained and we need to do schoolwork. And I'm just trying to keep him busy and help him not be afraid because he's hearing the news reports and hearing us talk. And it's very frightening to a little kid. He doesn't know what all of this really means. We try to be honest with him and let him know. We're not downplaying it, but we're also not trying to scare him. Uh, what I have been doing is absolutely nothing, just to be honest. I washed a bunch of babies and the babies that are on my workbench, let me share them with you and I'll talk more about this in a minute. The babies that are on my workbench right now are Lavender Awake because everybody loves this baby, especially when I give him hazel eyes. And I've had so many requests for this baby and for, what is the other one? Uh, Landon, Landon and Lavender. Very popular sculpts for me. And then I have this cute little Priscilla. Oh my goodness, that face. These lips, so adorable. I don't really have like um, a vision for her yet. I'm just gonna go as I go. And I have Mech because I love this baby and it makes me happy to paint him and I wanted to feel happy. So I'm gonna paint him. And let's see who else I have. I have Jenny asleep because she's so cute with her little downturned eyes. I think I'm gonna do her pale and blonde this time. And I have Bountiful Baby's new uh, Real Born Alma. I have not painted her yet, and I'm excited. And she has really cool details inside her mouth. Can't wait to paint her. And then lastly, I have Joanna Awake, another new uh, Real Born sculpt by Bountiful Baby. Um, Joanna isn't new, but the Awake version is, and I haven't had the chance to paint her, so I'm gonna do that. I have six babies. But the silly thing is I have no oven to bake them. It rained last week and I left the oven out in the rain and I was just sitting here, you know, doing my thing and painting and I looked outside and thought, wow, that rain is really coming down. And I saw my new wave there and I didn't think, 
you need to bring that in. And it like hit me maybe 40 minutes later. Oh my gosh, my oven is out in the rain and it's plugged in and it fried itself out. When I went out there, it was actually hot. It was like, I don't know what happened. I think the moisture maybe caused the computer to go wacky and it turned itself on. I let it dry out and I tried to restart it. It heated up like crazy. It's a goner. That's okay, I ordered a new one. Just not sure when I'm gonna get it because I think a lot of shipping is slowed down a little bit. So in the meantime, I have a few projects that I've got going. And this is what I'm gonna share with you. So I am making a um, silicone baby. Not a baby that you would, you know, dress in diaper and paint. I'm not sure I'm, if I'm going to do a bunch of blanks. I'm just really gonna do this for myself so I can learn how to do it. And I started off with a much smaller baby and I'll show it to you. And I'm just using Sculpey, a wire form, and some of the aluminum foil so that I'm not wasting too much Sculpey because I don't know when I'm gonna get more. And I'm not trying to like create panic. There's no Sculpey shortage. It's just that I'm not sure if the craft store is still open because I haven't been outdoors for a week, so I don't know. So I started off with a small baby and I finished it already. And I just, it was, you know, a real quick, a real quick baby. I baked it in my oven on top of some polyfill and it's stuck in there. Now don't be alarmed by the discoloration. I, um, I baked it for longer just because it's super thick, the body's solid and parts of it got overcooked. It doesn't matter because this is just the part that I'm gonna mold. And so the way it looks now, it, it, it doesn't really matter. I'm probably gonna go in and sand a few bits and, um, you know, clean it up a little. But it is just a little baby mermaid. She has some gills and a curled up tail, and this is her fluke. I try to keep everything tight to the body because I've never made a mold before um, with silicone, with two-part silicone. So it's new to me, and I just wanted to make sure I didn't have too many undercuts. And, you know, I'll sand it down, and if I have to add things, I will, and bake it again. Now, this crazy little thing on top, you're probably thinking, what the heck is that? Well, this is going to be the pour spout. So after I make the mold, this is going to be open so that I can pour the silicone inside. I have been painting silicone, and let me go grab those heads. It's not easy. So, the lovely Miss Angela Lewis from Angela's Originals sent me some heads to play with and then I had another head that I ordered from McPherson's. This is what the head looks like when you get it. And let me tell you a little story about what happened. I used sponges that said that they were latex free and I put on latex free gloves and it contaminated this. So when I went to go paint it with silicone, it didn't cure, it stayed sticky and wet no matter what I did, how long I waited. And I realized that the sponges in the garbage can were still wet too, they never cured. So I think even though these are Wonder Wedges, even though they said that they were um, latex free, I don't think that they were. Either that or it was my gloves. They're nitrile, but I don't know. So this is the way it, it starts and I did paint it and I got so excited and then it wouldn't cure. So I had to find a way to strip it down so that I could start all over again. I wiped off all the silicone, I used acetone. I used a little bit of rubbing alcohol. I washed it with Dawn soap and um, I got the heads back. I, I had painted too. So I think this is gonna be okay to try again. And I'm going to make myself vulnerable and show you my first attempt. It is horrible. This poor baby looks like it has been in some kind of terrible accident. Here's silicone. Every time you paint, every brush stroke, every bit of paint you leave, it it's, it's applied on top, it, it stays. Um, and so that's why this baby looks like it's made out of wax and it's melted. My second attempt went a little bit better. Here's the baby. I um, was learning how to work thin. You can't use too much thinner or else your silicone won't cure, but you have to use enough thinner to get the paint really smooth so that you don't have lumpy bumpies. And this baby is still a little lumpy and bumpy and she's a little yellow. I um, have to learn how the how the pigment works. The baby didn't look like this until it dried, and then a lot of the colors just kind of bloomed. In so, and here's my third attempt with the McPherson head, and I'm not sure how this baby looks in this light, 
but it does have way too much blue undertone for me, but we're getting there. Little by little, we're getting there. This baby needs a whole heck of a lot more color. It's very pale, lots of blue undertones, but I feel like I'm, I'm getting there little by little. I will share more of that with you as I progress. So what I'm gonna do is, if you wanna hang out, so what I'm going to do is um, set up for making a mold. I'm going to use EcoFlex, and I'm gonna, you can hear my little in the background, I apologize. I'm gonna use EcoFlex and I'm gonna make a glove mold. That means I'm going to paint this in layers. The pore spout is the only part that will stay open and then I probably will cut a seam down the back, open it up, pull out the original and then seal it back up. I'm gonna pour two or three silicones out of this just so I can get the hang of it and then when I'm done, I think I will use the mold to do a couple resins too. I think I have enough resin to maybe do one or two. I'm not sure if it's the right resin, it's really not pouring resin, but we'll see. We'll, I'm just gonna play. You can watch me make all the mistakes that people will make when they're doing something new, and maybe you'll learn something new and it'll be a lot of fun. And I can't wait um, to see, I hope this turns out, because I think it's gonna be so fun to paint in silicone, we'll have all that nice greens and blues here. And I don't think I'm gonna do the baby super fleshy. Maybe it'll have um, a lot of blue undertones. It just feels aquatic and watery. And the cool thing is, is once I cut that spout off, I can actually root some very fine mohair. And I have some really pretty white mohair that I think will look nice. And this baby here, I am um, just starting to sculpt so you can see the size difference. And the heads I'm gonna go a little bit larger so I can get more details but I tried out small just to see how it felt and then I'm gonna start look at this baby looks so silly right now Isn't that funny um, I'm just gonna go a little bit larger because I, I really want to make a baby mermaid that you can touch and hold you know that's that's nice nice in your hands this one is is nice it fits in fits in your hand it, this just seemed like something that if you went on a moonlight walk on the beach you might found, find washed up on the beach and you know it just sounds like a kid's magical story this feels like that but this baby I think will be much bigger and you'll be able to hold it again not big enough to dress or you know role play with but um, just something nice in your hands with weight you're gonna use all that lovely squishy silicone might as well have something to squish so that's about it for me from here. I'm gonna work on that in the next couple of days and I will just keep updating the videos. That way we can just follow along. Usually what I do is I just film everything and then I have to cut it up into 15 minute increments because I edit on my iPad and um, it only lets me upload 15 minute videos. So what I'll do is I'll just break it up into several episodes. I think what I'll do here is just kind of do daily blogs since most of us are home and some of us need some entertainment. And uh, I don't know how entertaining it'll be, but you know, we'll just I'll just upload them as I go and you can watch me play. And maybe if you have some of this stuff hanging around, you can play too, play along with me. Hope you guys are all well. I hope you're safe. I hope you have what you need. And please, please feel free to check in below in the comments and let me know. I know I have a couple of people here who are from other countries. One, I think it's Carol is from the UK. I re would really like to hear from you and know that you're okay. I'm not monetized, so this isn't about trying to get clicks and comments and stuff. It's just really about um, creating community. Really wanna know how you guys are and, and um, what's happening where you are. Okay, everybody, stay safe, be well, um, take your vitamins, get outside for some fresh air, and I will see you tomorrow.